So today is hay day. Yeah, we're gonna get oh bales of hay, the big round ones, um, here real soon. But I'm gonna come around this way with a tractor and see if I can stay up here because this is harder. I don't know why I get wind. I know pretty hard here, but just straight through there is where the problem's gonna be. So, but it's hay day. Sorry for the wind. Hopefully there's no babies today again. But if there is, so be it. No, she didn't have no babies. You can always tell. She's just standing there looking at me. I'm going to check her though. <clears throat> Let's just see. Nothing hanging yet. So she's not, she's not having them yet. But pretty soon. Hoss bit. store I had to go to I had to get Tr Trudy's heater in the barn going again and fix a gate and nice Massey right there nice little Massey doing the job anyway I've never had any of these Called snap peas. Uh, lightly salted snap peas. Oh my god! I can't. I can't get enough of them. My first time I had them, I was trucking. I was in Massachusetts. And I didn't know what to eat. And uh. 
I stopped at this rest area. It had, you know, fuel and a convenience store there. And I saw that bag of snap peas. I'm like, gee, you know, I love peas. I, I didn't know anything about them. I just said, hey, I'm going to I'm going to try this. Oh my god. They're so good. I'm sure a lot of you have known about them, but I didn't. Anyway, if you don't, get a bag, try them. They're good. They're slightly salted. And there's the other kinds black pepper, some kind of Caesar or something. I don't know what the heck that was, but these. Lightly salted ones, crispy. I don't know how they do it. They just probably, I don't know what they do. Dry them somehow. Oh my God. <laughs> I love them. It's stupid, right? <laughs> anyway. So I'm going to go to the barn and uh, move those big bales. And so, let's talk about those big bales for a minute while I'm driving. Alright? I hate them. I know the farms, and I know why they do it, you know, back in the day, you know, uh, before the farms really, really got big, you know, they were starting where the farmer couldn't afford to have a hired man so or you know no one wanted to pile hay or even kick bales those little square bales so the round bale was developed that's you know that was hey you know let's how do we get hay you know somebody developed a round bale or you know you could get six seven hundred pound bale off there you know with one one bale big tractors moving them around and it, and it, it just became and it still is and now they have even the bigger balers where you know they're 900 pounds you know and they're square bales big bales it's great always probably be, be good for you know the bigger farm but you think about it now think about what I'm gonna say okay And I know, and here's another part of this. Uh, one guy had wrote to me about, I had did a, a, a film about maybe a farm should downsize. Well, and he wrote to me, I disagree and all that. Yes, that's probably not going to be the case. A lot of these guys are going to say, well, I'm not going to downsize. I'm going to wait for this guy to go out of business, and then I'll just have the market. Well, that's probably what's going to happen for these big dairies but from the other side of the story the rest of the story no, uh, is these farmers these little farms now they're they're popping up you may not think so but they are all around they're all around now I, I see them they're buying they got horse ranches little ones they got goat farms they got sheep farms they're just little farms that are popping up. They want to have hobbies. They want to grow their own gardens. Because believe it or not, the millennium crowd is smarter than you think. They're very smart. I've been watching, I've been studying, and I think more than you know, these, these this crowd of people, this new generation, pays more attention to what they put in their body than the than the older generation. We still go to the store and we buy all this junk and we buy it and we put it in our bodies and we think, oh, I don't like this, but we still do it. But these guys are actually taking the time to go to these farmers markets, go to the farm stands and find fresh stuff and, and they cook it that way. And, and, and more than you think, they are, they're looking for it. They're looking for the organic. They're looking for the natural, at least the natural, helping the, the corner guy out. They're, you know, in the beginning I was thinking, man, some of these 
this new this new generation is, is you know they're not smart but they are so I thank you guys again if you're watching I I actually think that you know they're you know they're paying attention more than you think it's this middle crowd you know my generation uh, the baby boomers <laughs> we did our thing you know, we created a lot of stuff yes then there's a the middle generation just didn't care it just you could you could see it you know their music was and everything in them they would just, it just my son will tell you they just didn't care it's all about me but this new generation I like it they're very smart and they're paying attention to what they're doing and they're paying attention to what's really needed in this country I like it and they all should pay attention to that oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna go, but I, I don't want to get in front of this truck. I was not paying attention to there. <laughs> Scared me, even. Popped right over that hill doing 90 miles an hour. So, that scared me. So anyway, you you think about, you think about, um, what, <laughs> I got all herky-jerky with that 90 mile an hour fastball there. Shoot. That's what the other part of the is the driving though. No one's been good at driving though. I got this. I will say that. Anyway. Let's get back to the bales. These bales. So there's all these little farms that are popping up and they need they need things. They need hay for their goats, alpacas. I got a guy across the street that has donkey. He raises donkeys and sells them. What kind of hay's out there? These big round bales, these big square bales. What do you got to have to move them? A big tractor, something, a big skid steer. You got to have money to have those things. But here comes me. Okay. Oh, you can you can still go out there with your square baler, and yeah, you should. You know, there's a lot of guys that are doing that, but most of the guys don't want to deal with the square bales because you got to go out there and you got to pick them up, and then, then you got to have the uh, either uh, one of those things I've seen where the baler goes, it goes in it, it makes a pile of them, and uh, this and that. Okay. Along comes. didn't see it you'll see one here on the farm eventually yep and that my friend every the reason I know it's a big thing because uh, at the farm show what was the most popular thing that little mini round baler no one gave a shit about all those there always a, a, a crowd of people around there what is this oh I'd love to have those kind of bales Oh, the price is just right. Brand new, they're cheaper than a used baler. Okay. And how easy are they to handle? And how easy is it to kick out a round bale that's 60 pounds? You can grab it up. You can roll it out of the way. Think about women that are having horses. They have to feed their alpacas as hot, or uh, goats or whatever their hobbies. They got a 50 pound little round bale. They can just kick it along, open it up, feed what they need out of it. You're not wasting. These big round bales, you can see them down there. There's a lot of waste, a lot of waste. I, I don't try to waste. I open it up and I actually roll it and take some. You look at some of the ways they're fed. They just throw them in the, in the field and, and the cows just walk on everything and then they throw, it's just waste. And the other thing is you can't handle them. You can't handle them. They're so big. One guy. So you want to buy a, a, uh, an old tractor, then you have to get an old big tractor, and then you got to have a place to put that big old tractor. Well, hey, a lot of these hobby guys have these small tractors like me, and what? guess what? Well, this little tractor can just move a bunch of those bales. 
Yeah. You can move them over here. You can clean your barn with the little spreaders and and guess what? All that equipment doesn't even still equal to most most if you bought a brand new baler and you had to buy a tractor, it doesn't even come close to the price. Plus of the fuel that you're not using, you know, these little little pieces of equipment. Yep, you might spend a little more time out there bailing it and everything, but still you don't even use the fuel. Even even spending a couple, three more hours, even if you spent six more hours out there, you're still not using that fuel. I can run all day on that tractor right down there. All day. On six gallons of gas or fuel. All day. Here comes this. You know why it's being popular? Because at first it was there. When I first started thinking about these little round bales, oh man, it was hard to find these. Chinese made some. There was Abriata. That's it. Okay. Now look who's in it. Myanmar. Now they're making them. That's how. Become, that's why I know they're becoming very popular. And the price is right. Myanmar is getting in on it. They make their own tractors, engines for. They put Yanmar engines in John Deere. I think that John Deere has a Yanmar engine in it. So Yanmar is pretty popular, and they said, hey, we're getting in on this game, you know? So I've got to struggle getting these stupid bales in the barn. If I had these little round bales, I wouldn't be struggling at all. And they're great for the hobby guys. You can bale up to small acreage. You don't have to, you can, small. You got a half an acre. Well, I can go, I can go bale up the hedgerow easily I mean yeah you guys are doing it too but these bales they're made for big farms they're not made for the small farm and that's what's popping up around here and that's going to happen around the country too smaller smaller farms the hobby guys you see homesteaders coming around all the time
taking the camera off or something. So. Track these back. Well, you can see those bales, since the weight of them is probably around, I don't know, 700 something pounds, I guess. But all the weight is out way farther than the tractor. And so for that one, actually it pick, picked them up. It struggled a little bit. You see the size of these things. So yeah, it got them in here. That's all you can ask for. Right? So we got two bales of hay that are in here. I'll feed from up here. Just throw the hay down. And that's it. The hay is going to go up in here anyway, eventually. So, um, But yeah. All of a sudden there's what, eight, 1,600 pounds of weight on this floor right here. So, but you can see that the old uh, the old barn still can pack it in. They're pretty big bales, but you can see what I'm talking about. How easy it would be just to grab a bunch of the small bales, and the reason I couldn't move the tractor, I thought, oh man, it won't even move. That's stupid. Had to break on. But, um, and now these bales are here. I'm happy I got hay for the rest of the, um, this season anyway for the winter. These bales will do these goats up nice. Plus the one I got down here already. But they're all in. Pretty happy. That'll work. Like I said, I just throw the hay down the steps and rather than um rather than uh putting them in here or over there. All the hay should go upstairs anyway. It's in I don't like all this hay down there. Makes a mess. I don't like it in the first place. Okay, so the tractor did its job again. Uh, having all that weight way out front of the bucket was a little bit struggle for it, but it actually picked them up. Is it because they're because the what it is is the tractor can actually lift um, 900 and some odd pounds, so it can lift it. It's just that when the weight is way out front like that, you're struggling. But it did it. Moved along easily too, by the way. I mean, I, at first I thought, oh no. But it wasn't wasn't because the tractor. It was me because I'm stupid. And I had the brake on. But, yeah. Okay. Well, this is another day. And I wanted to touch base on that. Maybe if I go to, I don't think I'm going to go to the farm show. I got the literature I needed, and I talked to, I got the stuff I'm going to put in, a, in my stand up here. I want to put not, um, some of the maple syrup that's uh, in, the, in the, the guy here that has it local. I put maple syrup, it's all natural. I like to sell his stuff in my, my, my stand out here. So I might open up early and have maple syrup out there. There you go. And if, and if I don't, if I say this now, I, I might cut this part out because if I don't go to the farm show, you know, I'm just saying, hey, please subscribe and uh, I'll catch you next time.